Hi guys, today we'll be creating this beautiful nature inspired frame by Prima Marketing. I have uh, just taken out uh, this packaging uh, sheet from the frame which I had and uh, since I already had this with me, I am using this but then this project can be done on a shadow box or you can make your own birdhouse using some chipboard or any of these uh, three dimensional frame kind of a thing so uh, i am marking uh, the sheet the paper using the insert which was in the frame and uh, once it is the right size i'll stick it using some of the mod podge mod podge is my favorite glue to stick all these elements on metal and it is super strong so uh, we are not at all disturbing or altering the exterior of the frame and we will only be working inside it uh, I have to do some uh, elements at the bottom or at the stand uh, also which you'll see and here I've started a lot of fussy cutting so basically for this project you need a ton of fussy cutting element fussy cut elements and uh, basically you just have to sit with the pattern papers find out the right elements which you need which you want to use in your project this pattern paper is full of beautiful natural uh, butterflies and eggs and feathers and flowers and beautiful stuff so select your pattern paper trim out everything fussy cut everything and if you feel the edges are a little uh, not proper just use some uh, distress ink I used peel paint here to eradicate all my mistakes and uh, it gives it a nice finished look now I'm using these uh, elements uh, also from the same collection and taking out all these orange flowers from uh, the paper and adding some water spritzing it nicely on both the sides and uh, using the basics of flower molding techniques that is just pressing uh, all the petals individually using a ball tool this cups the uh, this process is called cupping and helps the flower to look a little more natural so nothing technical nothing super uh, difficult just press it and your flowers will be ready allow them to dry and uh, once they are ready they will look super beautiful and gorgeous i also had this memory box dye and i love this uh, dainty dye uh, leaf leaves it cuts and it will be perfect for this project so using my glue gun i'm trying to fix one of the circles at the base of the frame and uh, once this will be done basically today we'll be using the glue gun only to stick everything so i'll insert some snapshots at the end because this is an odd project and i'm not able to show you the entire uh, view and how am i putting every element so basically putting glue gun trying to arrange my foliage and if i find it's a it's in the right place just sticking it permanently i'm also using some shells to adhere and uh, push and secure my foliage because it's pretty delicate now you can see that i'm adding one of the flowers and uh, basically creating a triangle of interest or whatever it is called you know so i want to add a little color at the base so that the viewer uh shifts his eye and his focus to the bottom as well so there are some logics as well but this is just art and do whatever you feel is making you happy so uh now finishing everything adding some more foliage and this is a super cool project a lot of fun a lot of fussy cutting definitely but with a beautiful pattern paper we have so many graphic 45 uh, papers in the store and just go and grab them they're beautiful so um, if you have any queries uh, do let me know and i'll be more than happy to answer them and here is the final project i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give this a like and comment down below store all the left out pieces in the paper pad and you can use them in future for even more gorgeous projects so these are a few of the snapshots and have a good day bye bye see you soon